for some reason, I'm not sure exactly why, th these stools get a little tear in them. Now the one stool, the one I use the most in the hanger, it, it's fine, it's solid, it doesn't have a tear in it at all. But the second one, it got a little tear in it. And it just got a little start of a tear. So I kind of set it aside and wasn't using it very much because they have a tendency to grow the more you use them. But this Napa stool, it got a tear in it and it's turned into a pretty good tear. I put a piece of tape on it trying to stop it from growing before it got too big, but it didn't do much good. Well, there's a lot of pressure underneath that. I guess that foam rubber for the cushion underneath there is, is stuffed in there pretty good. And then this vinyl, I think over the years, over the time, of course, just like all plastics, it has a tendency to deteriorate. And I don't know whether the ozone and the fumes from vapors from solvents and stuff like that in the shop contribute to that or not. But anyway, this tear took off pretty big and the foam was sticking up through it. I've been using a uh, Stitz polyfiber to work on this airplane for the covering on that. And basically the fill material for that is a vinyl. Well, I got to thinking, that's vinyl, the tops on those are vinyl, and maybe that'd work to patch those. Well, I brought this one Miller chair up here first and I got out some of the polytac which is the glue you use, a polyfiber glue that you use. First thing I did is I took that chair and I, I washed it all down with acrylicline, which is what you use to wash parts down before you paint them and stuff to get all the oils and things like that off of them. And then I took some polytac and thinned it down with some MEK and then I spread on that. The solvents in the polytac itself kind of blended in and melded into the vinyl of this chair seat. So that stuff bonded to there pretty good. Of course this little slit here the stuff melted down into that styrofoam a little bit, or the foam cushion a little bit in there, and there was a little divot in there. And I've just gradually filled that up to now there's almost a little high spot right there where that hole is. But that one patched up pretty good. I got that one before it got bad. This one here on the Napa chair, it was already pretty long. It was at about four inches long or so, and the foam was sticking up through it. Like you said, I tried to hold it together with some tape once before and that didn't work. I think I tried some glue or something of some kind and that didn't work. So I thought I'd take some of this polyfiber and that's this stuff here is, is a polyfiber cloth. This is a piece of the tape to use for the joints and stuff on it to go over all of the protrusions. So I took a piece of this tape and I cut it a little bit longer than this slit. I saturated it with some really thin polytac thinned down with MEK so it saturated the fabric and then I put some thicker polytac uh, on that and stuffed it in underneath this cushion and so it extends out this far and this far and out to either side of that tear on top of that cushion and that glued that down pretty good but it was pretty loose it was soft in there well this fabric is heat shrinkable it'll shrink 10 percent or more at 350 degrees so once it set up in there and the glue all set up and it glued itself to that, I took the iron and heated it up and run the iron down there to shrink that fabric and that tightened that up. It was kind of puckered up here out away from the fabric along these edges where that it kind of curled from the solvents in there. It was glued down real good in here but on the edges it kind of curled up. I thought maybe I'd take that iron and that's what you do with the fabric and stuff when you're working on the airplane on the polyfiber is you can take the iron and heat it up and and push that stuff down well this vinyl on this uh, seat cushion melted at the temperature that, that shrunk this fabric so it kind of got some little holes and stuff in there and it kind of looks kind of ugly but it's uh, glued down real well and that fabric tightened up in that uh, hole there so it's not any softer there, looser there than it is any place else or much. So that shrunk down and pulled that t hole together. Anyway, that wound up with a pretty good repair on that. That'll hold up a lot better. If I ever have to do it again, I have to remember not to put the high iron on these, this vinyl on the outside here on the seat or keep it down below 200 degrees or so, so it can kind of help soften it and push it down into that glue. Well, anyway, that's a repair on the uh, vinyl covers on these uh, shop tool seats and it looks like it's going to work out pretty good.